What's happening guys? Welcome to the next how to put together video. Tonight, 10 row classic silage head. So this video is the same for the 8 row and the 10 row classic head. So in the kit, you'll get the two wings, the center section, which I already cut out of the frame before I thought of this, and the row guides. So when you cut it apart, here's what you got. Let me get the light right. So, both wings, center section, the mounting plate that goes on the chopper, so it'll hook up easy, and then there's your two row guides. Let's get everything through paint. As I said, the 8-row, 10-row classic headers are identical assembly. So I got the detail paint, painted the frame underneath, the cone on top, same thing with this guy. Now we're ready for assembly. So as you can see, I kind of started on this one already. So I'm sanding down the frame a little bit to get it to fit inside of the saddle here. And then I also had to sand a little bit inside these hinges to get them to line up. But I'll get everything in place, pin it together, and then start on the arms or whatever you want to call it, the row guides. Okay, so good news. I got a new tripod to hold the camera and we're progressing on the headers. So, I've jumped several steps ahead on you guys. 0 0.03 styrene rod is what I use for my two hinge points. Just simply goes through, through the hinge. Right here, I will glue it to the header itself because there's not an inner hinge. Sometimes it prints one, sometimes it doesn't. If it doesn't, that is not a problem at all. You just glue it right here. What you'll need to do, and take your time, sorry guys, I'm dealing with sinus infection here. You'll have to sand this gap open just a little bit, and then you will also need to sand down your edges here to get a good fit. It's made to fit super tight so that way it locks in and is a sturdy header. But if you sand too fast, which wing is it on this one? If you sand too fast, you'll get this. Your wing doesn't fit good. That's what happens when you're impatient. So just take your time. It'll look great. That's the hinge. Now for your row guides. On both sets of headers, there's alignment holes right here. And on the eight row, they're much closer together, right there and right there. Simply line those up. Let me straighten that wing out. Simply line those up, glue in place, and you'll have your row guides. Now what do I use for, this is like a flexible rubber tube on the real headers. Well, it's simple. It's just sewing string I stole from my wife. And then because it's kind of thick, I just split it in half. Glue it on one guide. Glue it to your middle. Then glue it to your other one. Take your scissors, cut it right there. And bingo! Your header is fully assembled ready to go. I'll catch you guys in the next one. 